Where'd he go? Tonight. Mate, he might be in this yard even. High alert. A fugitive on the loose at a Sydney oil refinery. Quick. The students face their most intense challenge yet. Shepherding 101, as country chaos comes to town. He's running. Near a major oil refinery in Sydney's Rose Hill, a manhunt is underway. Mate, he might be in this yard even. The security guards lost him coming over a fence, so... Security has reported seeing a suspicious man jumping a fence into the compound. In this day and age, with the risk of terrorism, police are taking no chances so close to a refinery. I think he's in this yard. Polair, with its heat-sensitive camera, has been called in to join the search. He went over this fence, yeah? Yeah, But did he get, what, this fence here where the bobcat is? Yeah, where the bobcat is. Okay, but did he get out the other side? I didn't see, because I ran around the other side and he could have gone right at the end of that. Okay, but you didn't see him, so he could be lying in there somewhere? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's All right, fun. we'll do that then. 21-year-old Corey Wolven is just four months out of police college and he's in the thick of the hunt. Security has gone. He's climbed over, but he hasn't come out the other side. So we think he's probably gone to ground, just waiting. Who has come over the fence, and he hasn't been seen since. So for him to scale one fence, get through all this and over another by the time the guy's gone around, it's not that much time, so... They suspect somewhere in here, the man is hiding and could be dangerous. Maka, can one of you jump the fence here? No, I'm just checking this gap here. We can't find him. There's a dog coming to uh, sniff him out and chase him down, so we'll see what happens. Nearby, police find the ute the suspect was driving. Checks reveal it was stolen yesterday. And here, in the work vest, is the man who took it, captured on security camera. A few minutes later, he takes the ute. He's believed responsible for several recent car thefts. In the confusion of the hunt, one security guard thinks the man has been caught. He's seeing the police drag somebody out from up the road. When? When was that? Up further up Grand Avenue. Which way? Towards James Roos? Is it towards James Roos? See where you are. Just keep going up the street. I'm pretty sure that's where he said it was. Far from being arrested, in the maze of buildings, the man has given them the slip. Train's coming. Trains coming. Yeah, both of together. We're going to have a better look in this building uh, that my partner found. Um, it's open. There's a lot of party holes here. So um, maybe if uh, Rose Hill 3 5 can meet us up here as well and go through it. The man might be gone but there are clues left behind in the stolen car. We'd searched the vehicle. We'd found quite a few implements for breaking into houses. We found a crowbar. We found numerous, like, screwdrivers. We had to take them out of the vehicle, put them up in exhibit bags, so we can obviously examine them later for DNA or fingerprints. We also found half a dozen syringes, used syringes in the car. Just now, we've had the, uh, the stolen vehicle taken away by the tow truck for yeah. forensic examination. A few days later, police arrested the man in possession of another stolen car. All right, so you drove up there into Grand Avenue, into that shipping yard. Mm. And what happened? You went, mm -hmm. you guys went for a walk, walk. And then just went back and got out of the car. He was no terrorist, but was convicted of multiple counts of theft and sentenced to a year in prison. 
At Foolish College, Kyle, Alex and the rest of the students are edging closer to life on the beat and every lesson counts. Today, they have to apply all that they've learnt over the last seven months, but this time under stress. And it doesn't get any more stressful than simunitions. We're going to walk in and there's going to be an offender in there. Depending on the level of threat, we're going to decide what appointment we need to use to control the situation. School leaver Frankie has often appeared to lack confidence. Here, armed with a paintball gun, he'll need to make the right decisions fast. Frank yep. and John. Yep. Righto. OK, what we're doing today, the first one we're going to do is scenario two. What we'll do with Frank, we'll give him the 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, he's going to approach a warehouse, and then we're going to tell him there's no backup, and we're going to put him as officer in charge and let him enter the building and see how he reacts. Can we start? Yeah, you go. When you're ready. Frankie has no idea if the person inside is armed or dangerous. Yeah, it's all clear. What's, uh, are you, do you work here? Yeah, mate, all right. Do you have any idea on you? Uh, yeah, it's okay, mate. No. Yeah? Just wait, no, don't reach down. Just don't reach down. Don't reach for the back. Get out of this. Get out of the back. Get out of the back. I'll shoot. Put your hand up. Okay, cover, scan, finger off, trigger off, receiver, holster. Safe to get up, star. Frankie brought down the offender but his assertiveness is still a problem. You're far too relaxed, you're too cruisy, OK? And you had your gun down at the ground. And you sort of said, show me your hands. You never, you're not quite getting there. And I know he was leading the way, that's fine, but you should be heightened as well. You need to be really forceful, controlled aggression, and you need to be running the scenario. Because next time, it might be three years from now, but you're going to be it. OK, thank you. So I'm Some people are born to be cops. Todd Kremer believes he's one of them. At 25, he spent years looking for ways to serve the community. I used to be in the State Emergency Service and St John's Ambulance. Used to be a volunteer surf lifesaver. I was just trying to figure out the, the way that I wanted to actually help people out. And I always, always, since I was a kid, wanted to be a, a cop. Todd finished police college at the end of last year. Now he's based in inner city Leichhardt. I think there is a bit of a thrill not knowing what's coming around the corner. At any given day, something different could happen. You might help someone totally different. You see different people in all different sorts of cases of life. You just don't know what's in store for you for the day. Have you had your gun out yet at a job? No. Do you remember the building search techniques? Like where you should have wrap around, big peaks, crossover. Today, Todd's on the road with senior constable Adrian Walker. They've been called to a derelict hotel to investigate reports of a possible break-in. Right, just to let you know, we're just going to conduct a building search here, so it'll be a little while. Building searches can be dangerous and unpredictable. Todd has never drawn his weapon on duty before, but he's about to. Todd Kremer and his partner are searching for an intruder at a derelict hotel. It's the first time Todd has drawn his gun on duty. It's pretty evident that someone's in here. There's uh, cleaning products and the tap's actually running. I'm just going to suggest to me... Use tampons, condoms. Um, bits of food and stuff like that. The hotel has been empty for over two years. There are dozens of rooms here. Each has to be cleared, and it's a known haunt for drug users. This is something new to me. Um, going around corners and not knowing who's on premises. You need to be uh, extremely cautious with this. Um, someone could step around the corner. They could have a syringe on them. Uh, it is new to me and I'm a little bit nervous about it, but again, that's one of the thrills of the job. Yeah, just clear that office to the right for me, please. Yeah, 
It is a little bit uh, exciting, kind of pulling your firearm out for the first time doing building searches. At the academy, it's just red training guns, but here it's the real thing, so it's uh, quite different. I dare say they've just um, gotten up for the day. They're probably coming in here at night. They found no one today, but as long as the hotel stands empty, chances are police will be back. Quick. Back at college, sim munition tests are continuing. If you shoot your partner, if you shoot the safety officer, if you shoot the role play when it's unjustified, uh, basically you'll be deemed not to be competent, OK? Everyone understand that? Yes. 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 Excellent, righty -o. Nina is up next. She has to decide if and when to use deadly force. I think we should do heaps more of this stuff. We don't do enough of it. Like, you know, we just get drilled with academic stuff, and this is the stuff we should be learning. Like, this is the kind of stuff that can get you killed. So, definitely need to do more stuff like this. OK, so it's um, a suspected person's on premises in a house. OK? And you're ready? Police on premises! When I walk in there, it's just protecting my partner and myself. That's all I'm going to be thinking about. I don't care about nothing else. I'm going to treat it like a real-life scenario. Corridor, corridor straight ahead, clear. We're getting assessed on it, so it's going to be like an exam when I walk in there, and hopefully I'll do the right thing. Left. Corridor straight ahead, clear. Nina and her partner begin well, but the time spent waiting in this doorway will cost them marks later. Faced with a deadly threat, Nina was justified in shooting, but her performance wasn't perfect. And we'll come out and have a talk about it. It's full on. From the minute you enter that room, there is just so much you have to be thinking about. You know, in a real life situation, you want to get everything right. Again, you got caught up in your fatal funnel here. You hung around in there too long. Go to the other side of the room. Then. Other side of the barrier. Look here. Across the papers here, right? Um, over there. OK. Keep watching it, have a look, and then through. Yeah. You don't hang around in all ways, OK? You commit and you go through. Hanging around here, the focus of everything in that room is right on this point here, OK? That's why it's called the fatal funnel. This is something that we need to be spot on with out there, otherwise we don't go home to see our families. Biggest steps in getting stuff a lot quicker. Yeah, we got him. We got him. True. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up, there's sheep near, nearby on the road, so we'll go and investigate that now. Suburban mayhem for city slickers, with livestock on the loose. This is a very unusual job for Mount Druitt. And so close to graduating, but Nina's future is on the line. If you don't make the grade, you don't make the parade ground. Criminals rarely stop, no matter how nicely you ask. All right, come back! Foot pursuits go with the territory. Get him, get him, get him! At police college, they're getting ready for that and more. Out on the beat, officers might have to undertake an exhausting chase and still be competent using a weapon. OK, into your bay, eyes on first. Jogging on the spot, eyes on first, then your ears. But Alex eyes is on, about to discover that shooting on, accurately, out of breath, going, heart pumping, going, is lines. not easy. And stop. Next facing, draw five. Two rounds in four seconds. Two rounds.
she's hit the target, but her accuracy was compromised. You're trying to breathe and you're trying to aim at the same time and your shoulders are moving up and down, so it's a bit harder to aim. All right, ears and eyes off, hang them up in your bays. She has some issues with the drills, and that's one thing I tried to express to Alex while we were working on the range today. Focus on those fundamental skills, because those are the things that may save her life or someone else's later on down the track. Time for your stress run, OK? Surfer Kyle is up next. He's among the fittest in the course. But this is still a challenge. Come on! Come on! Come on! In your bays, in your bays! Get up! In your bays! Keep your knees up! Run, run, run. Come on, get those knees up. Get them up, get them up. Running on the spot. Come on, get them up. Running on the spot. Stop. Hearing and eye protection on. Hearing and eye protection on. Hurry up. Get it on. From the holster. Two rounds, four seconds. Go. Okay, shooters, when the target next faces, you will draw and fire all remaining rounds in your own time. You'll do an emergency reload and fire one. Until now, Kyle has performed well. But in this scenario, he hasn't shot the scores he'd hoped for. It's a shocker. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. You're going to have adrenaline. If you're out in the street, you're going to shoot someone. You're probably going to be very nervous. So, I mean, you're going to have to learn to shoot with it and just... Um, learn to recognise when it's right to fire. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I want a beer. Stinging for a beer. I'm <laughs> over it. <laughs> it's been a long week. In Sydney's suburban Mount Druitt, probationary constable Tony Strick has dealt with his share of traffic offences. How you going, sir? Well, I didn't understand, so I just don't feel yeah, yeah, that's all right. Um, the reason why I've stopped you today yeah. is you've turned right out of Kelly close down there and it's actually a no right turn sign erected. There's always something new on the beat. Today, there's a report of an illegal U-turn of a different kind. We've just received a job that's just up the road at uh, the Great Western Highway. There's a sheep near, nearby on the road, so we'll go and investigate that now. It's largely a residential suburban area with some industrial but we do have people who have been here for years that do have farms that have never sold the land off and continue to have those farms. So we get chickens and, and that sort of thing in sort of patches throughout the LA too. Sure enough, a sheep is on the loose. Right now it's back in a paddock, but could easily stray once again onto the highway nearby. It poses a great risk to traffic if people panic, if it panics. Um, there's just so many unknowns in that job like that. Hi, man. Well, we've just been called here about a sheep. Yes. Um, who, do you own that or...? No, I don't. My ex-husband does. Oh, he okay. owns the property yep. next door. And, yeah, um, but I own this one. It comes back into here, eats the grass. Because yeah. it is greener on this side. I could, yeah, it does look a lot greener here, doesn't it, compared yeah. to the, the, bare, yeah. the bare patch over there. Yeah. Yeah. There was one other job, which was a goose that got out of its pen, so I had to herd that one back over. But this is a very unusual job for Mount Druitt to uh, attend a, a herding of sheep. <laughs> Somehow, they need to herd the escapee back to the safety of his home paddock. Problem is, he doesn't want to go. He's running. He's going to do the runner. He's running. He's going to do the runner. In Mount Druitt, Tony Strick has a yarn to tell back at the station. A ram on the run. What about a dog? What do you do? <laughs> Yeah, disregard radio, our fine mustering skills have encouraged it to uh, jump back through into home. Well done, thanks, Tony's herding skills, second to none, he was able to cut it off to prevent it going to the, onto the roadway. And in doing that, it's caused it to want its attention to go straight back into its yard, which it did. Yeah, no roast tonight. Police college, final exams loom large. The students are into their last revisions. Defensive stance, move! Defense. It is the last batch before our assessment, so um, hopefully it's all still in the memory bank and know everything we need to do and hopefully get through all the assessments with a breeze. Nice work, Mitch. Everything the students have learned over the last seven months will soon be tested. And then tap rest. Strike! The results will determine who has a future in the force and who doesn't? 
study is getting really intense. This is week 10 and we've got our final exams week 13, so there's always potential for failure. It's a lot easier to fail this course than it is to pass, so I'm just hoping that I, I don't fail. <laughs> I've been studying flat out for the last few weeks now and it's doing my head in. I can't wait to walk out of this joint. Moment of truth, people. Academically, Nina has been making the grade, but the personal changes have been harder. I've been here for 25 years, to be honest. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm getting to the end. It feels like every day is getting longer and longer and longer. Try and be very conscious of... Fitting in is everything here, so Nina's had to change her look Nina's platinum blonde hair was certainly a, a hair colour and a hair fashion that, that brought immediate attention to her. I don't like it. It's not me. Um, you know, when I look in the mirror, I don't feel like, you know, I'm happy with it. But sometimes in life, you just got to do what you got to do. Changing hair colour was one thing, but changing her loud personality has been tougher. Sometimes I let my anger get the better of me. And my attitude can come across as you know, I can have an argument with someone and it can get me in trouble and it, and it just takes that much, well, that little to get you in trouble here and it's all over. With just three weeks to go, it could be that Nina has finally overstepped the mark. After an incident at a nightclub, she's been called to the student management unit. They're going to tell me whether, um, you know, I can continue with this career or not. It's like the walk of death. There comes a time when you just have to say that, that somebody's either suitable or they're simply not suitable to be a police officer. There's no if, ifs or buts about it. If you don't make the grade, you don't make the parade ground. If I didn't make it, <laughs> after everything I've put into, you know, my whole world would crash down on me and I'd feel like the world would be over. Nicole, I have some bad news for you. Next time on Recruits. Have a warrant out for your arrest. Tricky situations on the beat. Are you wearing pants, sir? Or... No, I'm not. Is that a crime? While at college, the pressure is intense. Get back! As the students face final exams. That's not good, is it? But for Nina, it could all be over. And for more Recruits action, log on to the website. It's not me. Um, you know, when I look in the mirror, I don't feel like, you know, I'm happy with it. But sometimes in life, you just got to do what you got to do. Changing hair colour was one thing, but changing her loud personality has been tougher. Sometimes I let my anger get the better of me. And my attitude can come across as, you know, I can have an argument with someone and it can get me in trouble. And it, and it just takes that much, well, that little to get you in trouble here. and. It's all over. With just three weeks to go, it could be that Nina has finally overstepped the mark. After an incident at a nightclub, she's been called to the student management unit. They're going to tell me whether, um, you know, I can continue with this career or not. It's like the walk of death. There comes a time when you just have to say that, that somebody's either suitable or they're simply not suitable to be a police officer. There's no if, ifs or buts about it. If you don't make the grade, you don't make the parade ground. If I didn't make it, <laughs> after everything I've put into, you know, my whole world would crash down on me and I'd feel like the world would be over. Nicole, I have some bad news for you. Next time on Recruits. Have a warrant out for your arrest. Tricky situations on the beat. Are you wearing pants, sir? Or... No, I'm not. Is that a crime? While at college, the pressure is intense. Get back! As the students face final exams. That's not good, is it? But for Nina, it could all be over. What is it? And for more Recruits action, log on to the website. Thank <laughs> you.